It was strike after strike for a good cause at the bowling alley this weekend. Big Brothers Big Sisters here in Lloydminster held their annual Bowl for Kids Sake fundraiser on Friday. Now 64 teams signed up for the evening of bowling and as Hanukkah Notvate reports, this year's numbers were the best yet. It's a night that's for the kids. And for some adults, it's their first time here, but they know it's not just about hitting the pins. I've always enjoyed children. Uh, I do have a little brother with the organization as well. So it's just really good volunteering and, and helping out wherever you can. And it's being a positive uh, role model in their lives. And the event doesn't go on without a theme. It's kind of like an ugly sweater party, but a tacky t-shirt. Kind of got a frilly outfit here, but it's all for a good cause and a good time. Anytime you can uh, reach out and, and help some kids in the community um, and be a mentor and, and uh, um, be a role model for them, I think that's a positive thing. And another positive thing about last night and all Big Brother Big Sister events? All of the money that's raised from Bowl for Kids um, tonight and through our other events that we've had in support of it throughout the last couple months stays in our local agencies to support the programming that we do in the community with our traditional match program, our in-school mentor program. And it was a hit. Many saying they will spare the time for next year. I'm pretty sure I'll be back for, uh, for Bowl for Kids sake next year as well. Anna Kanoffi, New Cap News. College Park School is set to open its doors in the fall and it's going to need experienced people to help it run smoothly. Now the process has started with the hiring of a new vice principal. I want to be a part of a new school and help develop a learning culture and a wonderful school community. Tracy Rideout Brace found out last week that she got the job as the new vice principal. And while there are challenges with opening up a new facility, she doesn't think there will be anything the faculty can't handle. So I don't foresee anything that comes across our plate as being something that's going to be difficult or not or insurmountable. College Park will be the third school that Tracy has been the vice principal of. Now she currently holds the position at ES Laird and says she is up to the new challenge. I am extremely excited to be a part of College Park with a new school community and a brand new school. It is, I'm thrilled to be part of what is going on in, that, in our school community. College Park will open with around 475 students from pre-kindergarten to grade 9. Lloyd, Lloyd FM's music director Kurt Price isn't on our news every day, but when he is, well, it usually involves totally incredible stories. Now, in retrospect this week from the archives, Brian Hardy brings us the story of Kurt at his best, working on important projects that can only be described as unbelievable. It's early April 2005 and local government decide to end the confusion over the name Lloydminster. The city council's had a lot of trouble with that over the years and uh, we decided at council last Monday night that we should change the name to Lloydminster. So it's officially changing to Lloydminster? What? Well actually this is going to happen on July 1st, uh, 2005. Lloydminster. Well, How much is this going to cost? You got signs like outside of Lloyd that aren't cheap. We just erected new signs. Like it's whoa. Well, I think after all these years, I think it's just a waste of time and a waste of everything else to change that name. What an excellent idea. They should have done this like a long time ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was all an April Fool's joke. I think most people had figured that out right away. Have a great day, Lloyd Minster. Thanks. Thanks, Ken. 39 minutes till explosion. This week in 2008, we report on a demolition. Residents of Lloyd Minster gathered at the Co-op Parkade after hearing on Lloyd FM that the building was scheduled for implosion at 8.42 a.m. 51st Street was blocked off, the dynamite was set, and crews evacuated workers from the building. Oh, we're going to have to get you to stay back. Just wanted to come down and see the explosion, see them on TV and... Want to see when live. These two even went as far as pulling their kids out of school. Oh, we heard the thing on the radio that they're going to blow up the park gate, so I thought bring the kids down to watch it. Three, two, one! From everybody at Lloyd FM and New Cap Television, happy, happy April, April Fools! Lisa Reddle, New Cap News. Join us next time for the end of an era on Retrospect, this week from the archives.